Good morning, Pacops, and my name is Chloe, and here are the morning announcements. Today is Friday, October 6th, letter day C. Today's weather is mostly cloudy in the mid-70s. Today's lunch is pizza, sliced ham and cheese on roll, muffin and yogurt pack, garden salad with egg, apple juice, celery sticks and hummus, and broccoli salad. Monday's lunch is chicken dumplings, turkey and cheese pinwheels, muffin and yogurt pack, garden salad with egg, applesauce, edamame, and baby carrots and dip. Today's announcements are, today is Spirit Day. We have early dismissal at 2.30 today. Tonight is a centennial parade at 5 p.m. Enjoy! Happy birthday, September 3rd, 2023 to Evan. Happy birthday, September 5th, 2023 to Vance and Miles. Happy birthday to September 6th, 2023 to Nicholas and Harvey. Please go to the office for your birthday pencil. Trivia time! Today's trivia question is, how much d did the heaviest pumpkin on record weigh? Please take the next 10 seconds to answer the trivia and get ready for the pledge. Good morning, boys and girls. Hello, Pacops, and happy Friday. Happy Spirit Day. We're here for another round or another week of bucket fillers with Dr. Beaver and Miss Cloud. All right. So, you know I'm new at this, so we have to be patient with me. So, again, I'm just going to pick a bucket filler, right? That, that's how it works. That's how it Do works. you have one this week? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we've got. We've got a bunch in here, so let's see what we, who we pull out first. All right. Let's see. I want to fill Caitlin Bond's bucket by saying you were so sweet by helping a first grader during recess from Mrs. Zoldi. That was so sweet, Caitlin. That's awesome. So make sure that you go down this morning to the office to get your, your bucket filler pencil. All right. Oops, let me put this one aside. And let's mix it up in here. Let's see who else we have. All right. I decided to pull another one here. I want to fill Tegan's bucket. So that's Tegan in second grade by saying when I was being left out, she was helping me. Love from Isabel. That was so nice, Tegan, of you to help Isabel. And that was very kind of you, Isabel, to write that bucket filler. We love to see when friends are noticing if someone's being left out and making sure that we're including others and helping them. That's awesome. So make sure that, Tegan, you go down and get your bucket filler pencil in the office today. All right, Miss Cloud. Those are two really great ones. Yeah, right. we got some good ones. We've got some good, some some good friends here at Pacops and I. I definitely yeah. think so. I'm sure you've got a ton in there. Looks like your bucket is overflowing. I know. Shout out to Doctor Swisher's <laughs> class. Filled my entire bucket by themselves. Yeah. And a little dabbling from our other grades too. <laughs> Let's see what we got right. this week. All right, we have Rachel, who filled a bucket by being kind when I got something wrong. Nice. And that's from your friend Torin. That's awesome. a really very sweet, and it's sometimes really hard when we get things wrong or yeah. we make mistakes. So having a friend that's there with us and assures us that everything's okay and that we're learning from it is a really wonderful thing to have. Awesome. That's totally sweet. agreed. All right. We got at okay. least enough got a lot. For one more in here, right? <laughs> All right. I want to fill Maggie's bucket by saying, when I liked your charm, you gave me one the next day. Aww. And that's from Jaya. This is from Mr. Stevens' class. So that's really kind. Of course, we don't always have to expect <laughs> things from our friends, but knowing that a friend's listening to what it is that we like and what we care about is always a really good feeling. So Absolutely. come on down for your bucket filler pencil, Maggie. Yeah, good job, girls. So great. Great job, everybody. And you know what, ladies? Our children are looking out for each other, and they're also um, keeping an eye on their teachers and yeah. recognizing their teachers, too. I found two awesome. really amazing ones among many that I'd like to share today for, for adults. Listen to this. This says, I'd like to fill Mrs. Crossan's bucket. And it says, when I had trouble in a test, she always tries her best to help me every time. And that's from Isabel in her class. Isabel, great Aww. job. Mrs. Crossan, um, just keep doing what you're doing. It's so special to have you here. And Isabel recognized it. So Isabel, um, tell Mrs. Crossan to go down to the <laughs> office and get her pencil, all right? <laughs> and also, this is an awesome one too. This is really cool. This is from Sahar and Sloan to Mrs. McGurl. Uh, and it says, she's, she always turns work into fun. She is always so nice and not ever boring. 
according to the girls. Uh, thank you for being the best teacher ever. So that's for Mrs. McGurl. So Mrs. McGurl and Mrs. Crossan, uh, make your way to the office, and congratulations for being recognized as bucket fillers. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, happy Friday, everybody. Um, perhaps we'll see you at the parade. Some kids are marching and lots of people are watching. So yeah. hopefully see you at the 100-year parade for our school district today. Happy Friday. Nice. See you guys. Have a great weekend. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.